Three second test, go! Yogi Shmorgi! Zach! Welcome back to Captain Toad! And we have quite the story. We have an adventure. This we went on an adventure! Much like Captain Toad goes on an adventure. This past Saturday, uh, we had it was quite. It was a day! That's all I'm gonna say. No, no, no. It was no, a day. Here. There's something in there. Yeah, I see it. Uh, where do we start? I mean, okay, for starters, it was my day off. I, I had just gotten back from work. Oh, okay. Uh, but going on, I it was my day off. Nicky V just got back from work, what else is and it doing? because it was a boring day, I kind of told him, "Hey, let's go to the mall. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna find DB's treasure. Yeah, we'll find DB's treasure." Wanna explain to them what we exactly found at the mall? We found Jack shoot at the mall. We found Bumpkiss. That was nothing. Like, literally. Like, well, why do we go to that mall? It, we know what's there. We were expecting nothing. And we were still disappointed. Oh crap, I wasn't paying attention. And then I got really pissed off when we went to GameStop. Like... Do you want to go ahead and tell that or should I tell that? You, because it, it pissed you off. I, I'm the one that told you for the remember what Satan said. Well, should we go on and explain that No, part? we'll we'll explain it as we go, but... Okay, well, go ahead and explain the Satan part first. So okay, we... it's basically a joke that we've, we're making because we saw... something incredibly hilarious. And I didn't believe it, so I had to look it up, the satanic book of the earth. And it's quite confusing to me. It, it, be, it confuzzles me, to say the least. And basically, aren't they the Ten Commandments of the... Or the not Ten Commandments, but the Commandments of Satan? Basically. Now go ahead and explain what bamboozled you about the, co the Commandments of Satan. It's kind more like, huh? Maybe Satan's not a bad guy. You know, maybe, maybe there's some good in him. Maybe he's not that bad of a guy. Maybe he's just misunderstood. Like one, the one that you first found on Facebook. Tell what this one that one was. Uh, it's basically saying don't rape. And you were, and I was like, wait, 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 isn't that the Bible? Ah, uh, no, nowhere in the Bible does it say thou shalt not rape. And you missed a gem. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Okay, but going on to what you, what you saw. And, well, no, go on, no, no, it adds on to why you told me what would Satan do. Well, basically another one is like, don't complain about something you can physically change yourself and don't harm innocent women and children or innocent animals. Because that's wrong. The only time you should harm an animal is for food or it attacks you. And then it also said to destroy those who wrong you, which I'm not a fan of. Like, it, it says destroy the ones who have done you horror or something like that, right? Yeah, something, something along those Like, if they come into your home and disrespect you, destroy them with all your might. And it's also like, don't disrespect the only a house that you're invited to. You're a guest, so act like it. And that actually surprised me. Much like it surprised you. Like, you wouldn't think that this would be part of satanic culture. Yeah, it'd be more, most people would think like, oh, 
Steal from your neighbor, kill their dog, eat their cat, practice magic, and eat their tamster's liver. Because you can. Not because it tastes good. And then the whole don't harm someone unless they do you harm first. Well, that goes on to the where, where my. This is why Nicky Me had a problem. We go to GameStop. And normally, this is the same game shot with that douchebag employee that we were talking about in Mario Kart. The exact one way. Right? Well, I'll go on to that later, but go on. Well, when I was looking at the display case, they, they started selling Android phones. And they had a clone trooper. From a phase one clone trooper. From the Star Wars Black series, which is a six inch figure line. Oh, boss fight! C continue with your story. Okay, it's a phase one clone trooper. And what they had him saying, so good, these are the droids you were looking for. And when I saw that, I'm like, motherfucker got that wrong. That's a fucking clone trooper, not a storm trooper. Completely different sto I got enough type of trooper. Work. Go on. And. That pissed me the fuck off, honestly. I'm like, I got, I'm gonna kick that guy's ass. Whoever put that up, I'm gonna kick their ass. And when I said that, you immediately turned around to me and said, well, What would Satan do? They did not wrong you. You cannot destroy them. And I want, I really wanted to punch this guy in the face. Who did that? Well, for all we know, it could have been the chick. But it, it still royally pissed me off. And since we're huge Star Wars fans, you understand why that pissed us off. Well, it pissed you off more than it pissed me. Like, it royally pissed me off. How do I get that down there? Ah! Perspective. It's just like in Big Hero 6. Sometimes you gotta look at it from a different angle. Yeah. But that pissed me off. And we were in Target. And for once I used your line, which is, I expected nothing. And I'm still disappointed. Like, I don't even know why we go to that Target. It fucking sucks. Like, they don't have, they don't restock anything that I, I want. And when they do, it's like a short run of stock and I completely miss out. And I'm currently looking for a couple of WWE figures. Especially Yokozuna, because he has the two tag team titles I need for the Road Warriors. Which I don't think you deserve the tag titles because you already lost your Hawks wrist gauntlet. Well, it's, it's under the desk, I saw it there. Doesn't change the fact you lost it! Is Captain Toad like bringing the house down? I don't know. I kind of thought he was. Oh! Lava! Run, Toad! Oh, so I'm, think, I'm guessing that this was the Toad that... The Red Toad that we all come to... Oh! Yeah. The Mario Party Toad that would always go... Oh, when you did have enough coins for a star because Bowser took all your coins before you could get to the star! And, go on. And then when we go to the target, we saw this kid walking backwards and you wanted to trip him up. It's you want, that you I wanted to trip him up, it's that... that you, really you know you don't do that in a store. And I told you the same thing, Louie. What would Satan do? Satan would not harm an innocent child. And what was the next thing? Oh, we went to FYE. We and we started talking about Digimon. Is it cutscene? IKAKUMAN! No, this is, this is exactly what started. I was like talking about how I pre-ordered War Greymon and Metal Garurumon off Big Bad Toy Store. And that 
before I review them, I would like rewatch the entire series. Man, look at all that shit he has. But anyway, I I do watch the series as I review them. That way, I get. What was there another cutscene we didn't see? Like well, you had what? to see the cutscene before you moved on. Go ahead, keep telling your story. And that's basically the story. And we started talking about Digimon and how. Well, you left off where. I don't remember exactly. We were talking about how violent. Metal Seedramon's death was. Oh god, And yeah. Waymon's death, like... Oh. Even for the... Edited version, it was like, kind of... Oh was... man, that's... It was brutal! Like, you wouldn't expect it! It would show Waymon's death. You got fucked up. You got royally fucked up by... And then War Greymon royally fucks up Metal Seedramon. Well, yeah, well, I think people already know. It's an old enough series that people should know how Waymon died. River of Power! And it didn't, they didn't edit it. They flat out just showed him get fucked up by the River of Power. They showed him put a hole through Waymon. Two holes. And then... It was two holes. And then it showed War Greymon turns Metal Seedramon into Swiss cheese! With his Giga Drill Breaker. I, I, I forgot the name of it. But I've been watching so much go log on that I'm calling it the Giga Drill Break. Or Hyper Tornado if you're really into Dragon Ball. Ball Z. Oh, we're not here to judge. Okay, but after that we went to Toys R Us. Where we ca completely found stuff that like we really wanted to buy. But it was, too it was still early in our trip, and we didn't want to. Sp oh, and I was gonna buy the shuttle, the Lego sh shuttle Tiderius, and you told me Tiderium, Tiderium, and you told me, wait, I'll find it. You might find it cheaper somewhere else. Because I was gonna, I was gonna drop down the hundred and four dollars for it right there and then, which is a decent price, I would say. Like it's not the it's not the greatest price, but it's not too bad. It it almost makes up for it. I didn't even see that guy. I was too busy trying to look around. Ooh, a oh, path. fuck! And we didn't buy jack shit at Toys R Us. We came close! We came close to buying stuff. And then on the way back from Toys R Us, well, we decided to go to the other Walmart. The good Walmart, where again, surprisingly, we found stuff that we wanted, but at the same time, we kind of didn't want to drop the money for it, because, you know, we weren't exactly sure we were going to buy something from there. Is it, where's the, let me get down there. Oh, uh, the, the bridge, bridge will drop. I wasn't paying attention to the bridge dropping. So after Walmart... We're all, oh, maybe, maybe we should go to Target, the good Target. We might find something there we like. And sure enough, yeah, we, we, we found some stuff that, at Target that we kind of liked. Well, I'm but unfortunately, you'll have to listen to the rest of the story. On the next episode. On the uh, next episode, where we continue on the good Target, on what happened there. So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time, I guess.